Okay, so today we're going to be ranking each one of my Platinum Trophies. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. And please excuse the facial hair and if I sound a bit coarse because I've just come off a two-week stay-in-bed illness that has absolutely destroyed me. But I'm getting better now. Happy days. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Every little bit of interaction really helps and I'll thank you gladly. So the way that we're going to do this, I've got all of my uh, games just above and around me. And I've got the uh, tiers. Chef's Kiss, Awesome, Decent, Meh, Awful and Dog Water. And basically, it's not going to be on how I found the Platinum itself. It's going to be a mixture of like, you know, the ease of the Platinum and how I found the game personally. Uh, they're all in order of... Um, order of how I obtain them so we're gonna start with Lego the movie and this was my first ever platinum it's a Lego game everybody knows what Lego games are and that is gonna go straight into meh there's nothing really else to say about Lego games it's just a meh uh, infamous second son was my second uh, ever platinum and and to be honest I mean again everyone knows what infamous is like um, but I really, really enjoyed this game. And the, the Platinum wasn't bad either. So I'm going to put it into Decent. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there will be times where I'm just going to have to stop and cough. Because, as I said, I've, I've been so ill. But now I'm back. Um, okay, so, <laughs> strangely enough, I mean, of, of all the games that I, that I could have Platinumed, especially, like, early on, when I wasn't even a Platinum Hunter... This, this this one being third is quite comical, but Wolfenstein, uh, the New Order, and I mean, the Platinum itself, it's an, obviously it's not the hardest Wolfenstein, but it's also not the easiest of games. Um, but Wolfenstein's Wolfenstein, and and I just love Wolfenstein, so I'm gonna put it into. I'm gonna put it in awesome, to be honest. I, I really enjoyed it, and I'd, and and if I got it. Like, back when I got it, before I was a trophy hunter, um, before I actively went for Platinums, the, the, the Platinum must not have been too difficult either. Next up was Murdered Soul Suspect, and it's going in awful. I'm not even going to beat around the bush with this one. I have no idea why I even went for it, what the, the thought process was. Just, no, awful, 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 awful. Horizon Zero Dawn's next, and I mean, I, I really enjoyed this game. Um, I enjoyed it. I platinumed it. It wasn't difficult. I am going to drop it in decent. I've considered doing the second one. I think I actually, I actually got the game. I put it into my PlayStation. I just couldn't be bothered to, to crack on with it. I think I got about two trophies, and I was just like, oh, too much of the same thing. And that's even been like eight, nine years after. Not sure if it was that many years, but I reckon close enough. Next one is Near Automata. And what can I say? Absolute. Oh, I, 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 I thought this game was absolutely amazing. Again, it was before I was a Platinum Hunter. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to give us our first chef's kiss. I'm not going to beat around the bush in, in this video. If I speak about every single game the way that I would like to speak about every single game, this will be a two-hour video. I, I ain't doing that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be our first chef's kiss. I'm, I'm I'm not going to be putting that many in there, but Neo Automata was an absolute fucking game changer. And it, like I said, must not have been too bad if I got it. The next one was Safe Park, The Fractured Butthole. And can't remember much about the uh, the trophy list, if I'm completely honest. I remember enjoying the game. Obviously, another one back before I got I was a platinum hunter. So I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in awesome. I really did. I, I enjoyed it. Judge me all you want, but Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. There is only one place for this, and that's Chef's Kiss. Judge me all you want, I don't care. 
I absolutely loved this game. And I have always said if there was a bigger fan base, this game would have been universally like hyped. The gameplay was so, so good. Yes, it's a bit fan servicey, or should I say a lot fan servicey, but I, I just I thought it was absolutely amazing and brilliant. So it's going in Chef's Kiss. Take it or leave it. The next one, I f no, I don't know, I don't, I'm not even sure what this image is, but it's meant to be God of War. I think it is God of War. I can't really tell. It's so small on my screen, but um, I'm pu I'm putting this one in decent. Yeah, I'm putting it in decent. I, I I loved the game. I struggled a little bit on the Valkyrias, and that's why it's going in decent, decent rather than awesome, because there were a couple of quite difficult trophies. Um, but yeah, so God of War, decent. Uh, Neptunia for God Goddesses Online. <clears throat> so this was my first um, ever experience of the Neptunia franchise. Uh, I love my turn-based combat. If I'm, if we're being honest, excuse me. Oh, God, I, I I need to get so much better. Um, but yeah, so Four Goddesses Online. I'm gonna put it in decent as well. I, I really enjoyed the game. I can't remember too much about the trophy list, if I'm honest. But I'm going to put it in decent. Demon Gaze 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Demon Gaze 2. I enjoyed the game. It got very repetitive. Um, I don't recall much about the trophy list. So I'm going to chuck it in meh. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the best. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say on it. Uh, Blue Reflection. Now, I'm actually disappointed in myself because I know I had this on physical edition. And I don't know whether it's got lost in the transit when I moved house. One of the two times I've moved house since I got this. But from what I remember, because I don't completely remember the trophy list... I absolutely adored this game. And, well, no. I, I know I remember that I adored this game because I really want it back in my collection. But I don't recall the trophy list being too difficult. But at the same time, I don't recall it being easy either. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it into uh, decent. Uh, control, mate. I'm so tempted to put it in Chef's Kiss, but I'm gonna put it in awesome. And just just to point out that if they're in if they're in one of these tiers, just because it's at the front doesn't mean it's like I think it's better than the one at the end. Uh, but Control was amazing, absolutely awesome game. Uh, the trophy disc wasn't too difficult either. Um, but yeah, gotta go in awesome. I, I I'm tempted to actually play the PS5 version. But I kind of, I don't, I don't like double stacking platinums. Um, so yeah, so probably not. Uh, Terminator Resistance. I'm not gonna lie, I do not recall hardly anything about this game. The only thing I remember is it being absolutely a piece of piss to earn. Um, I'm just gonna put it in meh. I, I think the game itself wasn't too bad. I think it's starting to be more like to these days than it used to be. But, yeah, I, I'm I'm not 100% sure. Um, next one was Fairy Tale. Now, again, I don't recall much about the trophy list. I do remember having a couple of issues with a couple of them. Um, I loved the game. So I'm I'm gonna put it in decent. I, I I'm turn, it's becoming a bit of the decent row is becoming a bit of the cop out row. It's like I loved it, but the trophy list was a bit shit, or or trophy list was really easy, but the game wasn't too great. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Wild Rift, yeah, that's that's going in awesome. The game was brilliant, like groundbreaking, brand new on the PS5. You know, it it 
it it to me it was the first like one of the first games on PS5 that really showed what the PS5 could do. Um, and the trophy list wasn't too difficult either. Uh, next up is Destiny 2. It's going decent. I'm sorry. I, I loved Destiny 2. I'm, I've not played it in a long time now. There's so many DLCs that I can't even fathom where I am. Um, the trophy list, as far as I was aware, wasn't too difficult. But I've looked at the guide since, and it's like, it says 200 hours. Now, I know I played it a lot with some of my mates, but I didn't realise I played it that much. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it's decent. I really enjoyed it. The next one, Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, this one, I really enjoyed this game. But the trophy... <coughs> <clears throat> the collectibles, not the trophy list, the collectibles soured it so much. So I'm I'm pointing it in me. The the all the spirits that you had to collect and you what was it you had to collect fifty on that little paper piece of shit and then you take it to the phone booth like you know cash them in or release them and then get back to it. I spent I spent hours just collecting those fucking spirits. So yeah, that, that one's going in meh. Sonic Origins. I, I'm a I'm a Sonic fan through and through. I I, I love Sonic. <clears throat> so for this one, because I can't remember the trophy list too much, I think I'm just gonna put it in decent for now. I might I might move it down in a sec if if I think about it more. It just, actually, you know what? Just by the fact I was literally about to say, meh. <clears throat> yeah, it's nothing special. Like, I love Sonic, but meh. Uh, my first ever Final Fantasy Platinum Trophy. Got the Pixel Remaster. And my original plan was to do one, two, three, four, uh, all the way through. I did one, and I was like... Yeah, that was meh. Wasn't anything special. I, I I didn't enjoy it. I really didn't. So, and the tro the trophy list was a piece of piss. Let's all be real. Anyone that's got this knows that the trophy list is a piece of piss. There's yeah, there's a couple of trophies that you need to be mindful of, but it's nothing special. It goes in meh. We move on. <clears throat> Dead Island Two. I'm pointing it in awesome. Tro trophy list was fairly decent. I really enjoyed the game. I've said it on numerous trophy list review videos whenever I've seen this game pop up. People don't like it. Fuck you all. I did. Not fuck you all, literally. Like, you know, you're, you're um, welcome to your own opinion. I fucking love this game. Uh, the next one, Spider-Man. Eh, it was decent. I, I'm, I'm not the biggest Spider-Man fan. I was very late to play this game. Like, you know, every man and the dog had already platinum this, and I was like, oh, you know, I, I felt like uh, a bit of an outsider for not having it, so I was just like, oh, go on then, I'll, 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 I'll put it on. It was okay. It was decent. You know, I'm, I'm almost tempted to put it into meh. I'm, I'm going to put it into decent because I did enjoy it, to be fair, and the trophy list wasn't too difficult either. Um, but yeah. Okay, so, we're at the point now where I, I basically... Well, actually, no, Spider-Man was the first game where it was like, yeah, I, I, want to, I want to start getting platinum trophies. But Spyro was the first one where I actually made a video on it. Like this, this, this game was the start of my platinum, uh, platinum trophy like journey, adventure, whatever you want to call it. So... Spyro the Dragon, the first one. Obviously, this was done on the uh, Reignited Trilogy. I'm just going to put it as decent. It was nice. Nice little game. Trophy list wasn't too difficult. Yeah. It's not meh. It's not awesome. It was decent. Uh, next one was Guilt. It gets no love, so I'm going to put it in awesome. Trophy list isn't too difficult. The game isn't too long in truth it's just not very well known this was the second video that i ever did um and it absolutely tanked 
uh, but I really enjoyed it. Thought it was a brilliant game. Um, the next one, I, I actually am a bit shocked that this was the next one I did. And again, I've got a video on this one. Even though the game itself overall is a really good game, I'm going to have to put it in meh. Bully. Kaniskanem. Like, the game is, is really good. The trophy list was a bit... You know, got, towards the end, I was just like, oh, fuck's sake, just, just end, please. So, yeah, so I'm going to put it in meh. Infamous First Light. Similar to Infamous First Sun. You know, obviously the same same kind of world, same kind of things. But I thought it was meh. I really do. Sorry. I, I, I didn't think it was very good at all. Like, no, it, it was okay. But wasn't wasn't decent. Uh, Atlas Fallen next. Now, this was the first one where, uh, again, another one that I've done a video on. But this was the first one that I, like, I brought day one. I popped it into my PlayStation and I was like, all out. Okay, I've got to finish this. I want to be the first one to release a video on it. And it absolutely fucking shat the bed. Like, and the game was terrible. Maybe not terrible, but wasn't the greatest. Trophy list wasn't too difficult. But I'm going to put it in awful. I, I really, really didn't enjoy it. Um, Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Wolfensteins are Wolfensteins. But with this one, I did... Uh, nah, I'm putting it in awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. It's got to go with the other Wolfenstein. Uh, this one, as far as I, I recall, was was a little bit harder than the New Order. Or maybe a little bit less. Um, to be fair, I did cheese the uh, the hardest difficulty playthrough. Because you can basically just do the last level on the hardest difficulty. And it counts as the whole game for some reason. But yeah, I'm, I'm pointing in awesome. Uh, the Ascent... It's going in awesome as well. I... Another one. I've got a video of this on my channel. Uh, the Ascent is a game that I probably wouldn't have touched if it wasn't for going for Platinums and thinking of like, oh, what can I make a video on next? And I'm so glad that I did. Because if I hadn't, have, I would have never experienced it. The game is phenomenal. The trophy list isn't too bad as well. Absolutely fucking loved it. The Ascent, right up there. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, straight into Chef's Kiss. Another one. I would have never have bothered with this game otherwise. But I, I, I absolutely... Chef's Kiss, like I said. Trophy list isn't difficult. The game is absolutely fantastic. All the fucking Marvel... Fucking uh, whatever the game was, the, the one before it, fucking ruined this. Sales were terrible, we'll never get a sequel. Such a shame. Uh, next one, A Way Out. Meh. It's a good game. Trophy list's a bit funky. I played it with one of my mates from work. He basically ran the show and just, you know, told me what to do. So I did it. So yeah, I'm just going to put it in meh. Uh, Lego Movie 2. I'm putting it in awful. It's a Lego game. I thought, you know, okay, I, I don't do Lego games very often. Lego Movie 1 was my first ever. So why not do Lego Movie 2 as my second? And I was, the game's just shit, to put it bluntly. And the trophy list ain't very great. And and what, what makes it even worse is I actually almost fucking soft locked myself out of the platinum because I can't remember exactly what it's called but there's like a little area at the end of the game and you have to basically build a load of shit and 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 whatnot and I built something but every time I spawned into that onto that island that uh, structure that I'd built forced me underground so I was like I couldn't move I couldn't get out and I had to basically, I, I, 
I can't even remember what I did. And if I if I remember right, actually, PlayStation Network went down, so I fucking shat myself thinking like when I finally got the platinum, I was like, oh fuck no, I've definitely earned it. I've got the I've got the clip of getting it, but it's not on my PlayStation. Uh, let's move on. Otherwise, like I said, this video will just keep going and going and going. Uh, forgive me, Father. I'm pointing it in awesome. Not many people know this game. If you don't, I suggest you do go and have a look at it. Imagine Doom. But slightly different, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not I'm not doing it justice. Just go and check it out. Forgive me, Father. It's a brilliant game. The trophy list wasn't too difficult either. I think there's one or two trophies that are a little bit a little bit tough. But all in all, absolutely brilliant game. And I don't know what's going on with the images. When, when when I when I collected all these images, they were all perfect. Since I've uploaded them to this tier list, they've all gone out. Of, they've all gone to shit. Uh, next one, Goosebumps the game. Dog water. Fuck off. I don't care. Uh, say what you want. I don't know why it says Nintendo DS on the side. You probably won't be able to see that from your screen. Um, but yeah. Absolute dog water of a game. Get it off my screen. I don't want to see it again. If I could, if I could delete a platinum trophy, it would be that one. Go fuck yourself. Uh, next one, Corpse Party. Absolutely brilliant game. This was part of my five platinums for Halloween video that I did, and 100% absolutely loved this game. Uh, the trophy list wasn't too difficult either. Um, I think I used the guide for one trophy, but other than that, absolutely. I was about to do Chef's Kiss then. If, if I'm about to do the Chef's Kiss, it's got to go into the Chef's Kiss. I'm sorry, but I was about to do it. It's going in there. Uh, Resident Evil 7. I'm tempted to put it in Chef's Kiss, but I don't think it's quite there because of what the Platinum uh, consists of. The, the multiple playthroughs just aren't something that I like to do with games. So it is going into the awesome. I love the game. I really do. I'm so fucking stoked that I got the Platinum Trophy. But all in all, wasn't the best. It was awesome, but it wasn't the best. Next one, Little Nightmares 2. Oh, is it meh or is it decent? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it in decent. Because it is a decent little game. The trophy list, you know, not, not the easiest because, like, all the trophies don't tell you what... Like, as far as I'm aware, none, none of the trophies tell you what you actually have to do. So you do have to follow a guide. Um, I think it's a couple of playthroughs on this as well. But all in all, it's a decent game. So it's going to go in decent. Uh, One Piece Odyssey. Now, I absolutely loved this game video on the channel. Um, But the trophy list was... It wasn't too bad. But there was a couple there was a couple of trophies. Specifically there was one where you have to collect 99 Yaya cubes, I believe. Um and yeah, because of that, it's just gonna go in decent. Um I had to follow a video where someone showed the locations of all 99 Yaya cubes. Because I'd missed one or two, I believe. And of course they were right near the end of the fucking video. So I had to watch like an hour long uh, guide just for that one trophy. <clears throat> it is what it is though. Bright memory. I'm going to put it in there. The trophy list is okay. Very basic. Uh, you do have to complete the game. Well, at least complete the last level on three separate difficulties. It isn't the hardest. There's a, there's a little cheese stress that you can do, which like you know, basically puts you into a untargetable uh, state for a few frames. 
Um, the game's okay. It's not. It's not world breaking. So I'm just going to put it in meh. I, I could argue in. I could argue for it to go into decent, but it, I'm just going to leave it in meh. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, that, that's going in meh as well. I love my Call of Duties. I'm not very good at, the, at them these days, uh, especially con compared to way back when. But the trophy list is more difficult than it needs to be. Not the most difficult, but you know, it's a. It's not exactly easy either. So yeah, so that that one's going in meh. Uh, next up, Croy Machina or Croy Machina. Um, I'm gonna put this one in awesome. I plan to make a video on this in the near future. Uh, I will obviously need to rejog my memory on the game itself because I platinum this a while back now. The platinum, the platinum trophy isn't too difficult to achieve, and the game is very like very enjoyable. I, I found it was. Yes, it does get slightly repetitive towards the end, but all in all, I thought it was a fantastic game, and the platinum trophy wasn't too bad, so it's going in awesome. Uh, Astro's Playroom. Boink, straight into Chef's Kiss. Mwah. Of course, it, it's there because it should have been there straight from the start. This should have been platinumed so much earlier than it was. But because I'm a douchebag, I left it until, like, whatever. Ah! Sit my... Ah! Left it till the... <clears throat> left it till the end. Not the end. That's, that's really hurting. I'm sorry. That's kicking my ass. Oh, okay. Compose yourself. Astro's Playroom. I left it so long. I shouldn't have, but it's there now. It's in Chef's Kiss. Thank you and good night. Everybody should have it. Uh, Cat Quest 1. Meh. Or 2. 1. Cat Quest 1. Uh, actually, no. I'm putting it in decent. The Platinum Trophy list, The platinum trophy isn't too difficult. The game is Okay. It's it's fun, it's short, it's quirky. So I'm going to put it in decent. Bug snacks. I just I didn't enjoy it. <clears throat> I'm not saying it's a bad game. I I just did not enjoy it at all. The trophy list was wasn't hard that hard either, but it was just so I, it's the only place I want to put it. I, I just didn't enjoy it. I really didn't. High on life, awesome. Funniest game, I, one of the funniest games I've platinumed uh, slash played, I guess. Absolutely brilliant game as well. Um, but yeah. Final Fantasy VII, the OG, my all-time favourite game, and I am going to put it in... Meh. I'm sorry, but... I just I love the game I've completed it like nine or ten times in my life I just did not enjoy going for the platinum on this having to work my way up to uh, be strong enough and have all of the required uh, equipment uh, move sets um, strong enough materials for all the weapons and, and and then like you know getting over to the chocobo sage i just yeah it's going in meh like game as a whole chef's kiss trophy list brings it down to a meh i just i didn't know choo choo charles yeah this one's going in meh as well I, i've i put a video of this on my youtube um yeah the game is awful the trophy list kind of saved Actually, you know what? <laughs> it's it's awful. The trophy list is a piece of piss. The game is fucking awful. Let's not kid ourselves. Uh, Metal Helsinger, I'm putting that one in awful as well. I'm not saying the game is awful, but for me, I didn't enjoy it because I am terrible at uh, rhythm games. I, I, I enjoy rhythm games usually, but I'm awful at them. Mixing rhythm with the first person shooter for me just didn't work uh, The trophy list was 
quite easy, but nah, didn't enjoy it. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, Mwah! Chef's Kiss, of course, fucking... I don't like to use this term loosely, but probably my game of the... Yeah, I'd probably say my game of the year. Either my game of the year or second. The trophy list is... Di uh, oh, it's not difficult, but it's very time-consuming. Uh, but I just... I thought the game was brilliant. I, I loved it. And, of course, shameless plug, as there has been many of them throughout this video. I got a video of that on the channel. Uh, Dead Island Riptide. I'm going to put it in awesome. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. Chef's Kiss. Let's go. I, I, I loved playing this. Maybe it was because I went through it with uh, Mr. Leaning Versus, uh, with, who's another YouTuber. Check him out if you don't know him or haven't seen him before. Uh, but yeah, I had so much fun going through this. The game is dated. And, and like it did feel clunky at times but all in all it's Dead Island and zombie slashing fun let's go chef's kiss moving on uh, <sighs> Kandagoa Jet Girls I really don't know where to put this it's, it's either meh or awful I'm going to put it in meh the game wasn't very good <laughs> it wasn't uh, this uh, did I do it? yeah I think I did a video on this one as well uh, and there's a video on uh, Riptoid you, 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 can you see the theme but yeah I, I did a video on this and um, yeah it wasn't very good it really wasn't actually have I done a video on this I don't even know anymore. I'm losing the sh I'm losing my shit. Um, yes, I have. I remember. I remember now. Uh, the game wasn't very good. I, I basically just was skipping all dialogue. If if it wasn't for the dialogue, this game would have took me like three times longer than it did. It wasn't hard. The trophy list wasn't hard. Um, I did did enjoy the bit. I did like you know the the little bit of gameplay the game offers. So I'm pu I'm putting it in meh. Uh, the first ever triple A skull and bones. You can fuck off into dog water. I don't think, to be fair, I'm I'm kind of memeing on it now. I don't think it's like I'm still putting it in awful. It, it wasn't the best. I. Probably would have not continued with this platinum uh, trophy if it wasn't for the fact that the game was gifted to me. I would have been highly uh, pissed off if I'd have had to have paid for this game, especially full price. I would have, I, I, I'd have, I don't know what I'd have done. Trophy list wasn't too difficult. The game itself was fucking wank. Uh, Pumpkin Jack, meh. Trophy list is pretty easy. Actually, I feel like I need one in between decent and meh. Like a good or something like that, but I'm going to put it in decent. I did enjoy, I enjoyed Pumpkin Jack. Um, Spyro 2. I know I put the first Spyro into decent, but I'm putting this one into meh. For me, I'm putting it into meh. Because while the gameplay is pretty much identical, that's that's basically the reason. It's too much of the same thing. Uh, I am going to do the third one at some point. But yeah, so that one's going there. Uh, 13. So you know, this game got so much, so much hate because of the remaster. And I don't know whether they've patched it to the moon and back since, but... I'm going to put it in, in meh. I don't think it was decent, but I don't think it was bad either. The trophy list wasn't too difficult either. I think one of the trophies I had to cheese 
if I remember right. I can't remember. I can't remember 100%. I have slept uh, 90 odd days since I did this, so God knows. Safe Park Snow Day. That's another one going in there. Like, it wasn't the worst game in the world, but going from Fractured Butthole and Sticker Truth to uh, whatever the fuck this was. Um, yeah, they, they, they dropped the ball massively. The trophy list wasn't too bad. I was one of the... F I wasn't one of the first, but I, I was quite early on getting the Platinum Trophy on that. I did originally want to make a video on it and be one of the first people to make a video, but before I'd even touched the game, a couple of other YouTubers had already got the videos out, and I was like, well, that's fucked that, then, ain't it? Uh, Resistance Retribution, awful. I don't think the port from PSP or PS Vita, whichever one it was, uh, to PS5 worked very well. Really fucking clunky. The trophy list, uh, trophy, platinum trophy was bugged when I first attempted it. Luckily, it's been patched since. I now have it, so yeah, it's going there. Uh, never awake. I'm pointing in awesome. Though. I don't know if it I don't know if there is one now, but at the time that I platinum this there wasn't a guide. That is the only reason why it's not in Chef's Kiss, to put it bluntly. It's like um it's kinda like a smub. Um You play as a girl, you're shooting all these enemies, you're collecting souls. Plot twist! Now you've gotta destroy the souls. Like it, it's it's a funky game. I I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I plan on making this a bit into a video in the future. Um, don't know why I haven't already. I re like I really did enjoy it. Perfect list wasn't too difficult. Uh, There's a couple of tedious, not tedious, a couple of trophies where you have to think outside the box because there isn't a guide where someone's telling you, oh, this is how you do it. Um, but yeah, uh, Sengen Kagura uh, burst renewal. I'm going to put it in awful. I pretty much skipped all the dialogue because it was just boring the shit out of me. The combat became very repetitive. The platinum list is a piece of piss. So yeah, I'm going to put it in awful. The only thing that may have kept it, uh, may have pushed it up to a meh is the fan service because who don't like them jiggly titties? Um, but yeah. Adventure time, uh, I ain't even going to attempt the uh, latter part of this. Um, I'm going to put it in meh. I have got a video of this on the channel. I did enjoy my time with it. I am glad it came to an end when it did. Trophy list isn't too difficult. Uh, a couple of trophies where you kind of have to grind. But if you're like me uh, and you like to be as powerful as you possibly can be um, then I, th I think I did like six or seven fights once the main game was finished uh, to get the uh, the max level on all characters wasn't too difficult at all uh, the night switch I'm gonna put this one in awesome as well uh, Metroid Bania um, kind of like a smop as well I guess um, I picked this up for dirt cheap and the only reason why I know about this game is because I actually was watching a collector youtuber and he collect he brought it on uh, Nintendo switch I believe it was and as soon as I saw it was on ps5 as well I was like yo this looks pretty decent let's get it and it was pretty decent I oh actually the game was awesome nah forget that i'm dropping it down to decent because of the two trophies there was two trophies in it that i fucking hated they took me so long but all in all yeah why did why is my chair on the piss oh. okay um sleeping dogs whoop, whoop. chef's kiss let's go i had never touched this game before until a couple of months ago, I whacked it on. Um, 
forget about the experiences I had with playing this on my PS5. It does tell you you may experience issues, and I did experience issues multiple times. Uh, game crashing, uh, like in-game camera goes just going fucking nuts, like zooming in on the fucking character's face. A um, couple of audio bugs, but the game was phenomenal. Trophy list wasn't the greatest, but my time with it was phenomenal and i'm so happy that i got the platinum trophy i am so happy that i've now experienced this absolute classic and again shameless plug video on the channel please go and check it out because that video absolutely fucking tanked <clears throat> next up outriders now when this first came out nobody liked it everybody was shitting on it I fucking loved it, but then my brother, who I used to play it with, just upped and left one day. Not like upped and left like, you know, the family. Just decided he didn't want to play anymore and kind of kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. I was kind of like, oh, can't be bothered to play it by myself. Um, so however many years later, I came back to it by myself and got the Platinum Trophy. The Platinum itself... Um, wasn't too tedious from what I remember a couple of trophies I, I guess that you know you have to maybe grind a little bit for but all in all I thought it was a fairly simple platinum um, Stray almost chef's kiss but I'm going to put it in awesome I, I thought I thought it was a brilliant game after initially thinking it was going to be dog water shit um, trophy list is fairly simple Yes, there's a there's one trophy that's a bit fucking shit, uh, and took me a hell of a lot of tries. Like, literally, like I, I must have tried it about 80, 90, 100 times. But doesn't diffra doesn't dis distract, defect, detract. I don't fucking know what I'm on about. It doesn't take away the fact that it's a brilliant game and a platinum trophy that I'm happy with. And there's a video of that one as well. Fucking go check them all out. Um, Cat Quest 2. Eh, where did I put Cat Quest 1? I'll put it, I'll put, I'll put it in decent, man. Yeah, let's put it in decent as well. More the same, but made a bit better, I guess. Uh, uh, small, decent, easy platinum. Why not? It's going in decent. Right, now. As of recording, this one isn't live. But by the time that this is uploaded, this one will be live. So go fucking check this one out. Fucking Deadpool. Fucking loved it. Cost me 50 quid. Has since gone up to 65. Pre-owned in CEX, but luckily I got it about a month or two ago. Uh, purely got this for the Deadpool vs Wolverine video. Yeah, I know. Fucking cop out and all that bollocks. But go and check it out. I absolutely loved this game. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Oh, but I can't put it in Chef's Kiss. No, I'm still, I'm leaving, I'm still, I'm leaving it. It's staying in Chef's Kiss. Even though the trophy list was very fucking difficult in some areas, I'm still leaving it in Chef's Kiss because I fucking loved it. And I'm sorry, I've realised that I've just been swearing loads. Oh well. But yeah. Go check it out. This video, I, game, I loved. I loved doing the video. I'm hoping everyone else will too. I'm hoping that I don't come back to this video in in the future and see on like 40 views. Uh, Yo Yohane the Parhelion. It's going in meh. It wasn't a great. It's an anime that I've never seen. I had no toys to the game itself. Um, trophy list was very straightforward. Yeah, that, that's all I've really got to say about it. Uh, zombie soup. Now, I'm putting this one in awesome because I fucking loved it. I'm swearing again. I need to stop. I, I did love it. Um. I think I'm temp for eleven. Was it? Is it this? I know. I know. I'm definitely within the top fifteen. I can't remember if this is the game where I was in the top four, 
or top 11. I think it's the top 11 one. Forgive me, father was. Forgive me, father was where I was in the top four. This one, I think it's top 11. But I, I really enjoyed it. There's no guide online, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but uh, and there's no like real way of tracking your collectibles. But I really enjoyed it. I, I like really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Ghost Hunter. PS2 game. Uh, redone for the PS5, I'm guessing. We've added trophies. Clunky as hell. But I am going to put it into decent. Uh, what? I'm going to put it into meh. Um, because trophy list wasn't too difficult. The game was just shit. It wasn't awful, but it was pretty bad. Um, that's another one I plan on making a video in the future, but we'll see. Uh, next one, The Division 2. I'm going to put it into... Meh. No, I'm going to put it into Decent. It's going in Decent because I really did enjoy the game. I hope there's a third one. Uh, this is one that I recently got along with Mr. Leaning Versus. You'll heard his name again. Um, trophy list isn't too difficult. The platinum itself, uh, the game itself, sorry, is fantastic. So yeah, decent. Uh, Donut County. I'm pointing it in awful. I just like I've heard a lot of people rave about Donut County. And, I mean, there was nothing special about it. Like, I'm almost tempted to put it in dog water, but because there's actually, you know, some... Because I actually enjoyed playing the bits I did, I'm going to put it in awful. Um, some of the bits I did. Um, yeah. Dialogue didn't really grip me. The story was a bit meh. You know, yes, you do have to use your brain slightly in some in some levels, but yeah, it, it's just going there. And then lastly, even though it just says Ling Law, uh, it's this is Killing Floor Two, and I'm gonna put it in decent. Yeah, it's going in decent. I really, really, really enjoyed playing this game. I played it many years ago, like loads. Um, and then returned to it more recently because I, I knew that I was so close to the platinum. Um, but yeah, it was like I'm not saying it's anything special, but it wasn't bad either. So it's it's going in decent, and that's where it's going to stay. And that is my full rank of uh, all my platinums. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me down below what you think. If you've earned any of these, what ranks would you change them? Which ones would you put di differently? Uh, and I will hopefully see you next time, but where I'm feeling a little bit uh, more myself and less ill. Peace.